This oxtail is so soft and juicy. Look how it is falling off the bone. And the flavors that come with it, the layers of flavor that come with this oxtail will have you coming back for more. This is about two kilos of oxtail, already clean, excess fat also removed. For the first layer of season, we are going to start off by using some special powder season here. First we have some complete season or you can use all purpose season. Then we have some paprika, black pepper, onion powder and garlic powder. Once every piece of oxtail is coated with the season, we are going to leave the oxtail to marinate for a few hours or you can go straight ahead and cook your oxtail. We are going to start off by frying the oxtail. Fry oxtail for 3 to 4 minutes on each side in hot oil. Frying the oxtail before we stew it down gives it a better flavor. Do you want to know a secret? The oil I'm using to fry the oxtail came from the excess fat. How I did it, I allow the pan to hot, add the pieces of fat until they are fried, then I remove and add the oxtail pieces. Why? The fat from the oxtail gives it a better flavor. This is one of the reasons why oxtail tastes so good. It's all about the fat. Oxtail is a high fat meal and should consume occasionally. So guys, we are about to go to the next level of flavoring up this oxtail. And you don't want to miss this if you want a tasty oxtail. This is the most important part. So for this level, we are going to blend some season. Blending season give your meat or whatever you are doing a rich flavor. It allows the season to marinate straight to the bones. One of the secrets to a tasty oxtail is choosing the right season and the right amount. Once you add everything to your blender or your Nutribullet, you are going to add a little water, just enough to get everything moving. And you want a smooth looking paste just like this. The first step in making this flavorful liquid that we are about to cook our oxtail in is sauteing some minced garlic and we are using a little of that leftover oil from the beef fat. So we want to saute our garlic for about a minute before we go straight ahead and add our blended season. To this blended season we are going to add also about half cup of ketchup and then we are going to add enough water to make a nice looking liquid and boy I can tell you from this first time the sauce is tasting good this is how I knew that my oxtail is gonna came out delicious. Once you get this step here right, you know you are going to enjoy some good cooking oxtail. To give the combined flavor a boost, we are going to add about two teaspoons of honey or sugar. And don't worry, your oxtail will not taste sweet at all. As soon as the liquid has come to a boil, it's time to pour it over the oxtail pieces. 
add extra water to cover all pieces of oxtail. And this is where the cooking journey of the oxtail truly begins. For a finger licking mouth watering taste, there is a final layer of flavor that must be done, but we will need to wait. Once the oxtail has come to a boil, you are going to turn the stove all the way down, cover the pot and let oxtail cook. This is a process that cannot be rushed. It's been an hour now since the oxtail is cooking. If you notice two things, one, we have a beautiful looking sauce. Two, we have some solid pieces of oxtail and we don't want that. We are going for a tender juicy oxtail. So we are going to continue the cooking process by adding more water and let the oxtail continue to cook. It is over three hours now since the oxtail is cooking. Yes, we have more than three hours cooking the oxtail and it's not done yet. But it finally looked like something is going on. Those oxtails start to look like they're getting tender and the sauce is beautiful as always. Oh boy, every time I check this pot, I have to taste some of the sauce. And it always have an excitement taste. So you notice right there, I am having a little fight to get a piece of meat from the, the bone. We don't want that. We are going for juicy, tender oxtail. About 10 to 15 minutes before the oxtail is ready, we are going to add the final flavor. All the ingredients we had before is to get the oxtail seasoned to the bone. This next layer of flavor right here, this is the flavor that is going to hit your mouth first. This is a flavor that is going to let you say something like, Oh my goodness, this tastes so delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Finally, the long hours of waiting has come to an end. After five hours, we are able to pull off a nice looking oxtail. Look at the sauce. Look at that juicy, tender looking oxtail right there. Look how it is falling off the bone. That is the oxtail we want. We have done a nice job. Look at the sauce. We don't have it too thick. It's not too watery. It is just fine. And the secret to that sauce is the blended season. That is what have the sauce looking so thick, rich, and delicious. Look at this, guys. Wow. Perfect looking oxtail. And the flavor is so rich. Guys, we cannot eat oxtail if we are not going to enjoy it with some delicious rice and peas. Check out my rice and peas tutorial right here. About an hour and a half later, our beans is cooked. I will explain to you later the full process of cooking the beans. To flavor our rice and peas, we will need some crushed garlic, scotch bonnet pepper, thyme, and some spring onion. So to release the flavor from the spring onion, what I'm going to do here is crush it. So we have also some all spices. Actually, you will need about two teaspoons. We 
will crush it all so to release the flavor. This is two and a half cup of coconut milk we are adding to the cooked beans. And we are going to add the rest of the season. The all spices, the crushed garlic, and the scotch bonnet pepper. You notice I added the scotch bonnet pepper whole. It's going to release the flavor without the heat. Once it stay whole. Do not break it unless you want a peppery taste to your rice and peas. When I am cooking rice and peas, I love the flavor of the coconut to stand out. For that to happen, I go ahead and add some coconut oil. Some extra virgin cold pressed coconut oil. So let me explain to you how to prepare your beans to cook. First, you will need 16 ounces of dry kidney beans. You are going to wash it and soak it in five cups of water for four hours or more. Then you are going to add three extra cups of water, put it on the stove, you're on high heat, leave it come to a boil, then you are going to turn the stove all the way down. You are going to add also two chicken bouillon or vegetable bouillon. This is to flavor the beans. And leave beans cook until soft. Once the liquid has come to a boil, we are going to add the rice and we are going to turn the stove on low and leave the rice cook for about 25 to 30 minutes. The secret to a fluffy looking rice is to allow the rice to cover with about half inch to one inch of water. So if you have too much water, you can always take some out. We have a beautiful looking tasty rice and peas right here ready to serve with our ox tail. So guys it's been a pleasure sharing this dish with you. Drop a comment below and let me know what's your input on ox tail. Is it worth the cost? And also drop a comment and let me know if you try this dish, did yours came out well? And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching so much. Bye.